Canadians hosting the Kings. The Kings are minus 155 on the money line. The Canadians are plus 130. The over under is six goals. The Kings laying a goal and a half are plus 170, while the Canadians getting a goal and a half are minus 205. The Kings lost the last game that they played. The Canadians won the last game that they played. The Kings are 15 and 14 against the spread. The over is 17 and 10 in the games in which they played in, and they are 7, 6, and 2 on the road this year. The Canadians are 14 and 12 against the spread. The under is 14 and 11 in the games in which they played in, and they are 500 at home. They are 6 and 6. Head to head, the Kings are on a two game winning streak. The Kings are 6 and 4 against the Canadians in their last 10. The favorite is 6 and 4 on the money line. However, the underdog getting a goal and a half is 6 and 4 in their last 10. There have been four one goal games in their last 10 meetings, including two out of the last three games they played against each other. The under is 5, 3, and 2 in their last 10 meetings. And the under 6 specifically is 7, 2, and 1. And the, road, the home team is 5-5, five and five, so there's no real home ice advantage. The last game that they played, the Kings won 3-2 in overtime in Montreal. The game before that, the Kings won 5-2 at home. The game before that, the Canadians won 3-2. The game before that, the Canadians won 3-1. I'm going to take the Kings with the money line, the Canadians getting the goals, and I'm going to go over and say that this game goes into overtime, and this is like a 4-3 kind of game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.